What is a daisy chain connection? Let's say we have two devices. In this case, we have a N4Js and we have an RIO34. We have here the COM port of the N4Js and we've now chained or connected network that to the RIO. That's um, a network of the JSON the RIO, one device. However, let's say we have another RIO or another device that we'd like to network. So then we'll simply, you can see the connection here, we'll simply double up the connection from the RIO and continue to the next device. Now from the next device, if there's another device, we can continue the same and continue straight down the line and that would be a daisy chain connection. Now sometimes you have a daisy chain connection and someone comes along and they need to add a device that you had, you've completed your daisy chain connection. And now someone adds a new device over here. It's close enough to this device, so they figure, well, I mean, they'll just tap in another two wire here and just connect that device and puts it on the trunk. And uh, they're done. Now, is that a daisy chain connection as well? Or if that's done, does your network continue to be daisy chain? No, now it becomes a star connection. Very different thing. So you say to the person, look, you, you can't do that. That doesn't work like that. And what do they say? Normally they say to you, well, what's the big deal? It's just a connection. Well, what's the big deal? Well, let's talk about what's the big deal if you take a daisy chain connection and slam right into the middle and make it into a star connection. Imagine yourself driving down a two-way highway. There's laws and rules, how fast you can go, and everyone respects those laws and rules. Now someone comes along and jams another two-way highway directly, diagonal, into the highway you're going down. So now you have an intersection in the middle of your two-way highway with another two-way highway coming straight on into traffic. What happens? Now you have gridlock. Now you have traffic jam. Now you have accidents. The whole traffic pattern has changed. Everything is different. So that's exactly what happens when you change the flow of traffic going on a daisy chain connection and you now slam right into the middle, boom, and add a star connection. You've now interrupted the traffic pattern entirely. Different laws apply. As BMS professionals, we operate under the laws of TCPIP, which is the internet law for transmitting data. TCPIP is transmission protocol. And under those laws, we operate with MSTP transmitting our data. In those laws, we have the different types of communication, one of which is daisy chain, another of which is the star, both of which have different laws and how fast and how data can go and, and how they should travel. We have to respect those laws similar to how we respect the laws that govern driving traffic in our country. You can't just decide how you're going to drive on a highway in a particular country. No, the government set the laws and the rules and you must respect those. And it's the same with a daisy chain connection. TCPIP has set the laws and the rules for daisy chain connection and we need to follow that. And we can't just slam something into the middle and consider it a daisy chain. It has changed now, it's a stock connection, something totally different. One of the good things with the daisy chain connection though is if the line breaks, say I come from my Jace to my IO. From my IO, someone inadvertently cut the next wire that goes to the other IO or to the other device. All the devices downstream except for the IO would be missing. It's a bit easier to find the problem with a daisy chain connection because now we can, we can trace from the living IO, the IO that's online, to where everything else has gone down. Normally our VAB boxes are in daisy chain connection as we set them up and they come right back to our panel and uh, of course our IOs 